Hello everybody, thank you so much for tuning in to my channel today. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Lydia, and if you're one of my amazing returning subscribers, welcome back. As you guys saw in the title of this video, today I'm going to be reviewing Clinique My Happy Coco in Cashmere. So if you guys want to see this fragrance review, go ahead and stay tuned. <music> Now y'all, this is literally my very first Clinique fragrance ever. And every time I would go into Ulta or on Ulta online, I would always see these really cute, bright colored, skinny little bottles of perfume from Clinique. And I was just like, okay, they're reasonably priced because they're like $26. And I was just wondering, okay, what do these things smell like? And every time I would go into Ulta, the testers would always be completely empty. And I was just like, really? Like y'all could refill some testers, but anywho, I was just like, I never got a chance to try these fragrances. So one day I was in Ulta with my friend and me and her were just walking around the store looking at the fragrances and I saw them in person. So of course, as always, the tester was completely empty, but I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. So I went ahead and bought the Coco and Cashmere one. And I'm pretty sure they have four other fragrances. So if I can in the future, I might go ahead and try to pick up those as well. But let me show you guys what the actual box looks like up close. So that is what the box looks like up close. And these fragrances only come in one size and that is a 0.5 ounce. So let me show you guys what the actual bottle looks like up close. So as you guys see, it is a really nice size bottle. I was expecting something way smaller. It's kind of weird because it's like a cross between like a one ounce and a purse spray. So it's a very interesting bottle design. It's large enough so that you have enough to last you for a while, but it's also small enough that you can fit it in any of your purses or you could even put it in your pocket or something like that. Like it's very, very sleek. So I think that that's pretty cool. I love the bright, fun purple color of the bottle and the purple kind of clear cap. I think that that is really, really cute. So let me go ahead and get on to the actual details of this fragrance. Now, when doing a little bit of research on these fragrances, these are actually layerable fragrances. So you could either layer them with other fragrances in the flanker, or you could actually layer them with other fragrances that you have in your collection. This fragrance is classified as an amber type scent. In the top notes, there's cocoa, vanilla, and golden amber. And in the middle notes, there's musk, pink pepper, and jasmine. And in the base notes, there's honeysuckle and solar psilocylates. Yeah. Now, just from seeing the notes of this fragrance, it definitely sounds like it's going to be a very interesting scent. So let me go ahead and spray it and let you guys know what it smells like. So I would definitely say that this is a very amber-like scent. As soon as you spray it, you definitely get the warm, sweet notes of the vanilla and the cocoa. But you can also really smell the musk. And it's not like an aggressive, overpowering type musk because of those sweeter notes. It just really balances everything out and you definitely can smell the honeysuckle in this fragrance as well. This is a really nice warm scent and I feel like because of the cocoa and the vanilla notes, this fragrance will be perfect for the winter and fall months. And honestly, like it almost has like a soft, warm scent to it. So this could either work as an everyday fragrance or you could even layer it with something a little bit on the stronger side for like a nighttime scent. I definitely wasn't expecting it to smell like this. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't something like this. Like I would not think that this was a Clinique fragrance. Like I stated previously, I've never purchased a Clinique fragrance, but I have smelled Happy by Clinique in the past. And when I was younger, like 15, 14, I really liked the way that that smelled. But as I got older, I kind of grew out of that. I, I didn't really like it that much as I got older. 
but this fragrance is definitely something very different. Just from smelling happy in the past, I definitely thought that Clinique leaned more in towards the citrusy, bright, fresh type fragrances. And I feel like this is definitely something different. If you're somebody who likes really warm, cashmere type scents, this is definitely something for you. It could work if you're like fresh out of the shower just to have a nice warm scent before you go to bed. This is a really, really nice fragrance. And I feel like depending on how you apply it, it could either last for a while or you could just do like a light little mist and it won't be that strong. So I definitely feel like if you want it to smell stronger, you can definitely be a little bit more heavy handed with it. But this is definitely a pretty scent. I feel like this could work for literally every age group. I definitely feel like it could work for a younger crowd and a mature crowd. And if you want to add a little twist on this because it is a lyrical fragrance, you could add something different that you already have in your collection to this and just add like a little bit of a twist to it. And I feel like you would just be able to express your creativity with layering this with a fragrance that you already have in your collection. Personally, I feel like that is something that I'm definitely going to be doing with the scent. I feel like this would mix very well with Blackberry Tonic by The Mix Bar. So I'm definitely going to mix these two and see how they smell in the future. And also I want to see how long this fragrance actually lasts. But then again, even if it doesn't last that long, because it is so small, you could literally take it with you. So I like the sleek design of the bottle as well. Now y'all, as always, I will have this fragrance linked below in the description box so that if any of you guys want to pick it up and try it for yourselves, you can. And also, if any of you guys have tried Clinique Coco and Cashmere, let me know what you guys think about it down below in the comment section. And also, if any of you guys have tried any of the other fragrances in this flanker, let me know what you guys think about it as well. So y'all, I hope that you really, really enjoyed my review of Clinique, my happy Coco and Cashmere. And as always, I hope to see all of you guys next time. Bye.